Hey everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and in this video I will show you how to fix Starfield not launching or working on your Windows 10 or 11 computer in no time. So the first solution that you should always take in consideration is to update your GPU drivers. Note that this is very very important if you have a game that doesn't work. So in order to do this right click the Windows button then select device manager from the list of options and now in here in the device manager window make sure to expand display adapters then right click your device and select the update driver option. Now click on search automatically for drivers and Windows will try to locate the best available drivers on your PC. Otherwise if you don't have them on your PC you can head over over to your default browser and access the link that I posted in the description below. Basically this is the link for the official drivers for Nvidia and the other one is the AMD drivers and support official website. So this is super simple. If you have an Nvidia graphics card make sure to choose the graphics card that you have in here using the drop down menus and then click on the green search button. Now just click on download and once again you'll have to click on the download button to start the download procedure. In here choose a location preferably on your desktop for ease of use and then wait until the file will be downloaded. Afterwards you can simply install it by double clicking on it and following the on-screen instruction. And now using AMD drivers and support the procedure is pretty much the same. Make sure to choose your product and then click on the submit button. Now depending on your Windows type 10 or 11 make sure to expand it and then you can download the AMD software Adrenaline Edition directly from the website. So click on the download button, make sure to choose a location, preferably again on your desktop, then after downloading the file double click on it to install it, follow the on-screen instructions because it's super super simple. Afterwards restart your computer and check if the problem still persists. Moving on, another useful solution is to close all background processes. Now to do this right click the Windows button then select Task Manager from the list of options. And in here if you have any problematic background process that is maybe unnecessary right click on it and select the End Task option. And afterwards you can just check if the problem still persists. Next in line another useful solution is to update Windows. To do this press the Windows button then select the settings icon. Afterwards click on Windows Update on the left pane. And in here click on the blue Check for Updates button. Afterwards you'll see that Windows will try to install your updates automatically if it finds any and then you can restart your computer after the installation process is finished and check if the problem still persists. And lastly another useful solution is to disable all Microsoft services. To do this press the Windows button then simply type msconfig and then select system configuration from the search results. Now in here head over to the services tab and the first thing you have to do is tick the box next to hide all Microsoft services. Lastly click on disable all and then you can click on apply and ok to close this configuration and save the changes and then restart your computer and check if the problem still persists. And that's it! Super simple, isn't it? Of course if this video helped you make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more quality content. Thanks for watching.